Good morning, post-eclipse reading for my beautiful babes. <laughs> New deck, a little harder to shuffle. All right, split the deck, okay. Nine of cups in the reverse with the eight of pentacles and the six of wands, okay. So <laughs> you guys have some wishes trying to come in, okay, with the nine of cups in reverse. This is a wish fulfillment card. Um, but there is an eight of pentacles in reverse as well. Sorry, my cat. Um, and this is about working really hard and diligently. So some of you guys might be putting off some work because you don't believe in your success. Six of wands. You don't believe that you're, see how this person's kind of in a ring of lights um, with a star above them. This is, this is where you're supposed to be, okay? Some of you guys might be resisting this. Ooh, yeah, chills and goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them, but they are, I'm like freezing all of a sudden. Some of you guys are resisting your power because you're afraid of having all your wishes come true. You don't realize that um, you are capable of creating this. So you are the star, okay? I know this isn't the star card, but there is a star here and it is the six of wands, which is very similar in my opinion to the star card. You guys are being asked to stop pretending that you're not special, okay? Stop pretending that you aren't here for something special. A lot of you guys have known since you were little kids, um, or at the very least since you were younger, five of uh, swords, okay? But you've been struggling to find your power with the emperor, okay? You've been struggling to find your power and um, stand in it with the chariot and the nine of swords, okay? You guys might be in your head. You're stuck in your head. You're feeling... Um, a lot of you guys have been surrounded by people that haven't appreciated you, that haven't been um, a good reflection of you. So you didn't think that you had anything to offer. And I definitely understand, okay? I really do feel like my entire life I've been surrounded by people that just didn't see me. I never saw myself because, you know, I didn't have a clear reflection. I was surrounded by a lot of people that just took for me or took me for granted or relied on my strength because I've had a lot of strength since I was really young. I've had to cultivate it through really tough situations starting at before, before I can really remember. And I think that people around us sometimes can take for granted the amount of strength that we bring to the table or the amount of nurturing, you know, because if you're a healer and I'm getting the feeling that you are, you're supposed to step into your emperor energy and be powerful, be powerful, step into the spotlight. You are worthy. Beautiful, the chariot. Things are trying to move forward for you quickly. You have to, to play your role, I'm hearing. You have to play your part, okay? So let's see what else comes in for this beautiful collective. I feel like the time's just flying by. I don't, you might be feeling that way in your life, like time is moving extra slow or extra fast, it's just in a, you know, a strange pattern that just doesn't feel normal, more like a dream. Um, yeah, we're heading into some very dreamy times, I'm hearing attention to your dreams okay four of cups you might be feeling a bit apathetic all right but you have options and maybe that's why you're feeling apathetic because you've had a lot of options that you didn't want in your life and now you have options that might actually benefit you but you just kind of don't take them seriously the seven of cups and maybe these options haven't come in yet but maybe they'll come in when you cut out what doesn't serve you with the queen of swords okay you got the two of cups underneath that i'm really getting that when you surrender to this process and submit Interesting. I was going to say submit what isn't working for you, like hand it over, but submit to and surrender to this moment as well. You're going to you're going to fall in love, okay? Three of cups. You're going to have love. It doesn't matter if it's romantic, but you're going to have love in your life. Three of cups. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have a lot of you are going to start a new romantic journey with somebody special. But um just know that it's going to come when you have surrendered what doesn't serve you, and that is what this eclipse season is all about. All right, so if you're busy holding on, get ready for spirit to take it from you. You know, it happens. It happened to me. I've told the story before about 10 years ago. I lost my business. I lost my partner. I lost everything because I wasn't willing to let it go. Ace of Cups in reverse with the Magician, okay? You guys have also the card on the floor, which I haven't looked at. Two cards. <clears throat> okay, you got um, the Ten of Swords coming to the end of a tough cycle. You guys have been through a lot. You are ready for a break, I'm hearing. And you are going to get it, the Ace of Wands. But this was in reverse. I really feel like it just has to do with you taking the power back. 
taking your power back and saying, I don't, I'm not going to stand for this. Okay. You need to step into your power and wield <clears throat> what you came here to wield. Okay. If you're a singer, a dancer, a poet, a musician, you don't, maybe you don't even know that you're an artist. Maybe you don't even know that you're creative or spiritual or I mean, spiritually gifted. You're being asked to start playing around, start trying it out. Just start. Yeah. Magician. Thank you, spirit. Just start you know, fuck around and find out. I actually love, I've been living my life, my entire life that way before that phrase was ever invented, but it's a great phrase. Fuck around and find out. Just get moving. Try something. See what happens. You are powerful. All right. It might move slowly, but you have opportunities coming toward you. And I love how focused this person, this almost feels like somebody in particular offering you, you know, a job or a small, it might seem like small potatoes. I heard. Um, but it's going to lead to something. You just have to walk away from what isn't serving you, okay? That's the most important part of this assignment. If you don't empty your cup, you cannot fill it up with something new. Ten of fucking pentacles, okay, with the queen of swords. Again, you have to cut out what doesn't serve you to fill it up with what does. If you're married, for instance, to someone that you're not in love with anymore and you're just staying together for the show of it or for the children or whatever excuse you're making, <clears throat> and I'm not judging you, okay? Um, although I, I am being guided to say that children pick up on, on happiness in the home and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're better off having two unhappy parents. Okay. That's your call. Okay. But I'm just saying that if you're doing that, if you're sacrificing that for the children, you might want to rethink that because children are going to be really responding to the fact that you're happy as well, that you know how to start over, that you know how to protect yourself. They're watching every single, every single thing you do and using it as an excuse. I've said it before, but when parents smoke, children are like, cool, well, if my parents smoke, then it must be okay. It must be okay for me to slowly kill myself. I used to be a smoker too, so I'm not judging you. That's amazing. I miss it all the time. I'm not even gonna lie. Queen of Swords again, cut it out. The tower's trying to fall, but some of you guys are holding on. I just saw somebody like gripping the walls of a crumbling building. Get out of there. Save yourself, okay? temperance 10 of pentacles or nine of pentacles and the high priestess in reverse you have angels and uh, your ancestors trying to come in and assist you balance things out and um help you gain you know your independence your financial freedom your stability because a lot of you guys that have let the tower fall are trying to find something stable now okay because you've been in tower moments for a long time some of you but I am hearing that a lot of you guys are blocking the messages that are spirit, that spirit is sending to you. You're not necessarily open to hearing what the divine has to say because you're too heartbroken over what has happened, what has gone wrong. The Ten of Swords. You are coming to the end of a really tough cycle, but you are the Queen of Pentacles. All right, you have massive abundance coming your way. And you need to know that it's only going to get better from here. The more you surrender to this moment and release control, egoic control, this feeling that you that everything's going to crumble if you're not actively at the helm. You're not supposed to be at the helm. Spirit is at the helm. God, whatever you believe in, okay? What by whatever name you call. <clears throat> but you need to render your need to be in charge and to, you know, um force things to move forward. Yeah, hangman in reverse. Because you've been in hangman mode for a long time or you're being okay, some of you are resisting it. You're resisting this new perspective. But you are being offered a new opportunity and you have the ace of swords on the bottom as well so two aces boom new beginnings let this new beginning come through okay you have to just let go and surrender it's not easy i know but it will change your life for the better okay you have a lot of beautiful energy coming in i want you to know that you're not alone in this and you do have the world cup a uh, world cup interesting <laughs> not a sports person either you have the world card on the bottom so this is a new beginning. This is a portal. All right. We're still in portal energy right now. Eclipse energy will last for a few more days. So get busy dreaming about what you want. Get busy letting go of what you don't want. And I mean, seriously, put your notice in. Quit, put, tell your partner if you're not happy. Just start the conversation. Okay. I'm being asked to give you specific examples. Put your notice in at your job. Put your notice in at your house if you're being guided to go traveling or do something scary. Just do it. Listen because you're being pushed in the right direction. It's leading you somewhere and it's going to pay off, all right? You are the magician. Get busy dreaming, get busy working for spirit and showing how dedicated you are to this process of ascension and renewal, okay? Temperance, it's all about renewal. So beautiful reading, I hope it reached you, okay? If you need a private reading, my website is sacredmuseproject.com. I'll put it in the description box as well. Keep going, I love you.